Okay, Adrian, what, would you, what do you do with that equipment? Okay, this is your uh, fluorescent lamp uh, weathering chamber. So it's pretty much like uh, the oxenon chamber. The difference is instead of three oxenon lamp, you have eight fluorescent lamp. The q is usually used more for the visible change. This one is usually more used for the mechanical property. So I'm going to show you how it looks. Sorry, Adrian, what's the, uh, the main test method that you use? Like the Xenon Arc is the ASTM G155. Oh, sorry, yeah. This one is the ASTM uh, G154. We run the cycle one. OK, that's, that's the most popular cycle that we run. Exactly, right? yeah. OK, good. So in this chamber, we have uh, four uh, sensors, two right there, two on the other side. If you take a look quickly, we have four lamp. It's uh, the UVA 340 lamp. Four on this side, four on the other side. So I'm going to show you uh, how the calibration works. Okay, so these are the, uh, the sample holders? Yeah. This okay. is the rack. So obviously the samples are facing the, uh, the lamp. The fluorescent yeah. light? So I'm using the same display. The, um, this equipment is just a display. There is no, no calibration need for that. All the technology is in the sensor. OK. So if I need to make a calibration, I'm going to plug the sensor just right there, close to the um, uh, equipment chamber sensor. When I'm going to plug my display, is going to recognize the sensor. So I'm going to push to calibrate. I select the lamp. So in this case, is uh, 340. And it's pretty much like the q -son. When I'm going to run the cycle, I'm going to hold the one when the A radiance is stable. So it's going to synchronize the reference sensor with the sensor in the chamber. I repeat the operation uh, for the force sensor, and uh, that's it. Okay, I see uh, on the, on your device, on your calibration device, you, uh, on your calibration device, you have a you have an equipment number. Uh, so, what do you have to calibrate? You calibrate the sensors and you calibrate the device. Uh, how do you how do you do with the calibration? For the calibration, uh, this one have to be calibrated in February, I think. So in February, we're going to send the sensor back to QLab. They're going to check the sensor and send the sensor back to us. OK, so they're going to send back the same sensor? Yeah. OK. And uh, QLab, they're uh, ISO 17025 accredited? Yes. OK, good. What about the sensor itself? The not, se uh, sorry, not the sensor, the display. The display, it just takes the information out of the, out of the sensor and uh, is it's just okay, a display. So it, it's only a screen. Literally. Exactly, yes. There is no calibration for the screen. OK. So that part, there's an equipment number because it's part of the company's inventory. Yeah, it's for traceability. There's, no, there's yeah. no calibration required for that. Everything happens in the sensor. In the sensor, yeah. OK, good. Thanks.